and uh, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, if you find me smiling, it's because uh, I just set the camera rolling and then I realised that uh, there was a little bit of, uh, of wind that needed to come out and uh, uh, so I expressed it in a rather loud manner, which my wife could hear in the adjacent room and she was giggling too. So apologies for that. That's not a great way to introduce a wine video, is it? But uh, particularly when it's uh, International Sherry Week. I did a, a video earlier this week in which there was a piece of paper which told me it was just London Sherry Week. Have I got it here? No, it's somewhere else in the in the house. Uh, but it's not just London Week uh, Sherry Week. It's not just National Sherry Week. It's International Sherry Week. Um, so it's Friday of uh, International Sherry Week, uh, and I've got another sherry here. Uh, this is Fernando de Castilla uh, Antique uh, Amontillado. Uh, now you'll notice there's a little dribble gone from the bottle. Uh, I actually it's a, quite a big dribble. I think if anyone dribbled that much, they'd have a rather wet front of the, their shirt or whatever they were wearing at that particular time. Uh, but I enjoyed a glass uh, the, the other night, a couple of nights ago. And uh, so I've got a feeling, oh dear, that's a rather large tasting sample. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to uh, enjoy this again. I have to say it's only um, 11 o'clock in the morning, so I don't think I'll be finishing this. But um, but it is Friday, so uh, maybe I'll have slightly more than uh, I would normally do. Anyway, um, yeah, Fernando de, de Castilla. Uh, they they specialise in uh, in these old rare styles of sherry. And uh, what they do, what you'll notice about the bottle is they it, it's a clear bottle. What they want to do is bottle the wines so you can actually see the beautiful colour, which is great if you've got not if you're able to store them somewhere where the light's not going to get to them. But uh, not sure about the wisdom of um, uh, if 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 you, if you, bot you have bottles hanging around for a long time. But my experience of having had these wines in the past is if you do get them, uh, they probably won't hang around for a long time. They're pretty usually. Rather lovely. Anyway, let's have a sniff of this one. Yeah, one of those wines that you stick your nose in and you would swear it's going to be sweet. There is this just lovely, soft, creamy, little bit of butter, toffee, figs, walnuts, raisins, um, and uh, sometimes with uh, with uh, dry sherry, there can be those those characteristics. Uh, but there's also this oh, slightly searing, serious backbone that makes you think, right, okay, this is there, there to freshen everything up. Here, uh, I don't know whether it's extra wood aging that's really softened and mellowed it, but there's just a lovely, gentle, generous character that makes me want to get in there like a pig in a trough. And then when you come to taste it, all those um, aromas, they're just there and... And they, they fill your mouth. And I think because of this extra wood aging, um, it's, it's that wood aging where it's mellowed all the flavours, but it's not gone so far that it's really stripped all the flavours. And uh, you're just left with something that is um, oaky and not much else. Warm, persistent, um, user-friendly. Uh, sometimes these styles of sherries can be almost a bit... Um, uh, a, a bit severe for, for people who are just coming to share it for the first time, but here, complex, heady, just really come hither style of sherry. And um, I, I mean, you, it, it's dry, but there's this mellowness, and uh, I don't really like using the word smooth uh, in, in wine notes because I, I think of uh, things like uh, Cliff Richard and uh, brown, you know, beige zip up shoes that. Uh, uh, men who uh, uh, men who have trolleys, uh, yeah, the, the sort of thing that they wear. But here, there's just this lovely, persistent, elegant, complete. Um, I, I am going to have another. I, mean, I better probably better have finish the whole glass. But uh, hang on. And uh, as I said, it's eleven o'clock, and uh, uh, given the choice, I would rather like to stop the day here and just sit and uh, sip. The rest of this wonderful wine uh, over the uh, over the course of the next few hours. Um, actually, I'd probably not by itself. It's pretty. I'd probably get a, 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 not fatigue, but I'd, after after a, uh, probably finishing that much, I think okay, I'm getting get some food now. Uh, now the the summer Montiados that are probably a little bit louder than this. Um, this is soft, gentle, uh, really welcoming. And uh, I, if I if I were to have uh, an ideal dish with it, maybe I was thinking about something like some really nice roast chicken, maybe a bit of garlic, a bit of uh, truffle in there, a bit of uh, uh, a few uh, nice mushrooms. Dribble a bit of this in there to uh, um, 
to make sure I've got all the juices off the pan. Uh, and I think I'd have a rather uh, wonderful uh, and extended lunch. But um, uh, I, yeah, my constitution and also my bank balance uh, means that I have to uh, actually do some work for the rest of the day. So I'm going to, um, I think I'm going to pour this back in the bottle and uh, come back to it at a more appropriate time. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of uh, International Sherry Week and certainly go out and have a look for this wine because it's terrific. See you soon.